long, silky manes are the ultimate horse accessory. Getting your horse to grow a flowing mane, though, takes some care and effort. Start by feeding them a healthy diet rich in high-quality proteins and essential vitamins. Make an effort to protect new growth by carefully washing and brushing the mane, and braiding it in protective plates. Most importantly, be patient. New growth takes time, but any horse can grow an impressive mane with time and care. How to Grow a Horse's Mane This video will tell you Encouraging new growth Protecting existing growth And managing your horse's environment Welcome to DailyNeedStudio.com How fast does a horse's mane typically grow? Horse mane growth rates can vary, but on average, you can expect a horse's mane to grow about half an inch to one inch per month. Can braiding help with mane growth? Braiding can protect the mane from breakage and tangling, promoting healthier growth. However, avoid tight braids that could damage the hair follicles. Method 1. Encouraging new growth. Number 1. Set realistic expectations. Set realistic expectations based on your horse's genetics. Certain breeds of horses are naturally going to have longer manies than others. Quarter horses, for example, can grow mid-length, lustrous manies. They won't be able to grow a mane as thick or long as an Andalusian, though. Look through online images and breed guides, and talk to breeders and groomer to find out what would be considered a standard mane length for your breed of horse. Number 2. Feed your horse a diet rich. Feed your horse a diet rich in proteins, vitamins, and fatty acids. The first step in growing a long, Shiny mane is to make sure your horse is getting proper nutrition. Ideally, your horse's diet should be at least 50% forage, if not more. The other portion of their diet should be comprised of feed that is rich in high-quality protein, vitamins, and omega-3 fatty acids. Your horse should be eating 1.5-3% to of their body weight on a daily basis. In addition to forage and feed, you can add biotin, linseed oil, or omega-3 supplements to your horse's daily diet to help keep their new growth strong. Number 3. Trim the mane to remove dead ends. Damage at the tip of the hair can spread up the shaft and damage new growth, even up to the root. Get rid of this damage by using a razor or shears to trim away dead, splitting, and damaged ends. Depending on how fast your horse's mane grows, you may want to do this once a week to once a month. A Frisian, for example, will need more frequent trims than an Appaloosa, since their manes grow longer and faster. You do not need to trim a lot of length from your horse's mane. Focus on removing only the damage, and leaving as much healthy length as possible. Frequent trims will not only help protect current growth, it will encourage new growth by stopping damage from spreading. Number 4. Try to eliminate any rubbing. Rubbing is common for both manies and tails, and it can cause hair loss in spots where your horse rubs frequently. If you notice your horse rubbing, try to eliminate any potential cause. You can also cover any areas a horse may rub against with softer materials. If you are unsure of the cause, talk to your equine vet to get a professional option. Some common causes of rubbing include Parasites, which can cause itching. Insects and insect bites, which cause topical irritation. Harsh cleaning products, which can irritate the skin. Skin infections, which should be diagnosed and treated by a vet. Did this video help you? Let's comment below. Yes or no? Method 2 Protecting existing growth. 
Number 1. Braid your horse's mane hair. Braid your horse's mane hair in protective bands. Braids can help protect your horse's mane from snagging, rubbing, and other everyday problems that lead to short or thin mane hair. Divide the mane up into bands approximately 3 inches 7.6 centimeters wide. Starting about 2 inches 5.1 centimeters from the roots, braid each band down to the tips of the mane, being careful to not pull the braid tight enough that it pulls at the roots. Secure the braid with an elastic band. To make the braid even more secure, tuck the loose ends under the braid and secure them with an additional band. These braids can last up to a few weeks at a time depending on your horse and training activities. If you notice a braid coming loose or starting to fall, undo the bands and redo the braid. If you are doing a training activity where you know your horse is likely to rub or they will be in an environment where there's an increased risk of snagging hair, take the braids down or put them in a braid sock. This will help ensure that they only lose a few strands as opposed to the whole braid. Number 2. Undo Tight Show Braids. Undo tight show braids as soon as possible after a show or competition. While protective plates can help keep your horse's mane in place, those tight braids used in competition can actually damage your horse's hair. Take these braids out as soon as possible after an event to minimize the damage. You need to take these braids out because they typically start at the root, so even slight movements of the neck can pull and cause breakage. Number 3. Minimize the amount you brush. Minimize the amount you brush your horse's mane. Brushing your horse's mane frequently can encourage pulling and breakage. Ideally, you should only brush your horse's mane when it's conditioned enough that you can run your fingers through it. Try to brush only when you're getting your horse ready for a show or when you need to debt angle a part of the mane. Otherwise, use your fingers to brush the mane. Number 4. Wash your horses. Wash your horse's mane and tail once a week. Wash your horse's mane once a week separately from its regular body wash. Take your time to gently shampoo the mane, letting the product sit for 3 to 5 minutes before rinsing it out completely. Then, condition your horse's hair according to the directions on your conditioner bottle. Rinse the conditioner out thoroughly and dry the mane, using your fingers to brush and help detangle the strands. Alternatively, you can purchase a detangling spray that conditions and helps remove knots. Number 5. Use extensions. Use extensions to help existent growth look longer. Some companies offer clip-in extensions for horse manies and tails. These can be used to supplement your horse's natural mane while you are trying to grow more length. These can also be used to add color or texture to your horse's mane. Did this video help you? Let's comment below. Yes or no? Method 3. Managing your horse's environment. Number 1. Limit exposure to extreme weather. The sun can dry out your horse's hair, making it brittle and more likely to break. Below freezing temperatures can likewise be damaging to your horse's mane. To avoid environmental damage, limit the amount of time your horse spends outside during extremely hot or extremely cold weather. This is especially important when you are in a hot, dry environment. Hot weather with little humidity can cause your horse's hair to dry out and break faster than almost any other climate condition. Number 2. Check around your horses. Check around your horse's stable for potential snagging hazards. Walls, gates, and fences all present potential snagging hazards. Look for areas with holes, splinters, or splits in the wood. Consider sanding these areas away or patching them to prevent snagging while your horse is in the barn. Look for other potential snags, too, from things like exposed bucket handle joints. Number 3. Use main bags to help. 
Use main bags to help prevent daily snagging. Main bags can be used to cover your horse's plates while you are growing out their length. These bags are secured just below the roots and cover the length of the plate, helping to prevent snagging while your horse grazes, trains, and goes about its daily life. 